Hey everybody, this is Richard with Fanatic Bike. Today we are here to show off the brand new Evil Reckoning. Pretty excited about this bike. Uh, the guys over at Evil were nice enough to get us a large frame to ride. Uh, our mechanic Max got out and filmed with Doug. You'll see some of that footage in this video. And I also got to spend some time on this bike and I'm really impressed with it. All right, so a new Reckoning. What updates have they made to this bike? First up front, we've got a slacker head tube angle. Got a 65 degrees in the low setting, and if you want to get it kind of bike park ready, you can put it in the extra low setting, and you can get it down to 64 and a half about. They've also made the bike longer, as you're seeing with a lot of more modern bikes. This is a large frame, and we're running at a 482 millimeter reach number. So nice and long, kind of help with the stability at high speeds. Uh, we'll continue moving back. Longer stroke shock in the back. It used to be 160 millimeters of rear wheel travel. They bumped that up to 166. So it gets you a little more cushion for the pushing. We've also got a steeper seat tube angle uh, sitting at 77 degrees now. That kind of helps get you more forward, centered over the bottom bracket so you can pedal all day on a bike like this. Then finally out back, as we saw with the following, with the Reckoning, they're also doing super boost spacing. So it's 157 millimeter super boost rear spacing. Kind of gets you a stiffer rear end for when you're really riding fast, riding hard, you want that extra stiffness. And it also allows them to get shorter chain stays. So this has a 430 millimeter chain stay. So despite it being a really long bike, it still has a really fun, playful feel to it. Evil used to describe the Calling, which was a 27.5 bike of theirs, as a bike-shaped skateboard. And I think it would be safe to say that the new Reckoning is a bike-shaped surfboard ready to slap lips. <laughs> so as I mentioned, our coworker Max got to go out and ride this bike and film with Doug. And I also spent some time on this bike and I've been super impressed with it. I'm a big fan of these bigger, longer travel 29 inch bikes. Something that you can go out and pedal, but then take it to downhill trails, shuttle trails, and have a ton of fun on it. And I would say that the Reckoning is one of those long travel 29ers that also feels playful. I absolutely love this bike. Those short chain stays make it feel nice and nimble. The Delta Link suspension's always been a really poppy, playful feeling suspension. And I was nothing short of impressed. Uh, you're up front, you can run either a 160 or a 170 fork. We're running it here with a 170 Zeb, which is a new stiffer RockShox fork. And that's a fork that really suits this bike. Keeps that front end nice and stiff, but then gives you plenty of travel uh, up front to, to handle all those bigger hits. I also found this bike to be really fun when you're in kind of like lower speed or medium speed technical terrain. You can just pop it around the trail and it'll do whatever you want it to do. Super impressed with this thing. Um, pedaling, another thing with that steeper seat tube angle. As I mentioned, you could pedal this thing all day. With the longer travel bikes in the past, it was like, oh, long travel, like it's just gonna suck all my energy. I'm never gonna be able to ride this all day. But that is certainly not the case with this bike. It's super lightweight. As I said, it's playful. It's, it's something you can spend all day on for sure. So the crew over at Evil always puts a lot of attention into the details. And just like we were seeing on the following, you've got internal cable routing. So it's got tubes and tubes, so super easy to route your stuff through. But they also kind of thought ahead. Some people like to set their bikes up moto style, and this has two cable ports on both sides. So depending on how you set up your bike, you can run your cables internally. On other bikes, you'll see that if you set it up moto style, you're kind of out of luck getting it internally routed, but these guys really thought that through. They're also including some of these tiny little ports to help plug those holes if say you're running axis on the bike or you're not running at moto and you've got an empty port. So that's really cool. Other small details, they're adding a chain guide here for um, your chain ring. So it's always nice to have, not necessary with a lot of these narrow wide chain rings, but totally rad to have if you're out downhill and you don't want to worry about dropping a chain. Um, also got what they're calling their sound mounts here on the uh, chainstay protectors. So that kind of helps from chain slap, kind of quiet things down. It's just these like minor details that the guys over at Evil really think about and make these bikes look super good. As you can see, this is like a coral color. They're calling it the Coral Reefer. Gotta love their names. And then of course, they're always gonna have a black frame and that will be available as well. So these bikes are all loaded up in the bike builder. You can build them now. 
can do things like this new Zeb fork or the Fox 38. We'll have a bunch of different shock options from this super deluxe coil to like the X2. And this is just an awesome bike. Kind of a, a long travel do it all bike is what I would say. So if you got any more questions, you can give us a call or shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com. And that's all I've got on the new Evil Reckoning. So enjoy. Oh,